all right guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be installing ox inventory and i'm walking through the process of correctly installing the resource uh some people have issues where you know when after installation you know they can't like certain resource can execute a, a inventory function within qb core and i'm going to show you how to fix all those issues and pretty much well the most common issue i think that's the only one uh that is plaguing a lot of people right now when it comes to ox inventory for qb core but if you're on qbox you're fine you ain't got to worry about it but yeah let's get started first things first a link will be provided as you know to all the resources that is required to install a to install the resource uh let's go first things first if we get on the GitHub, we're not, as always, anything has to do with overextended. You do not download from the main uh, repository. Always look for the, the release, the official release. So let's go here. We go for the release. We'll look for OX inventory. Pop that real quick. And there it's done. Let's open her up. Uh, let's actually, let's extract it first. But before we can do so, before we can do so let's put you over here my monitor is kind of weird let's put this over here uh let's go back one let's go to qb first things first let's remove where is it qb inventory qb inventory i am blind yeah let's remove qb inventory there we go and let's uh let's put it right here actually let's make a folder let's call this folder let's call this folder ox in brackets reasons but we're going to set the start order for each uh resources within this folder all right that is done let's uh open the readme so let's open the documentation, which we can find here within the README. Pop it up. No. Let's look for, this is an optional uh, dependency, which is OX target. We will be putting this in just for, you know, just to make things a bit easier for you guys. So I already have it here, which is OX target. It's optional, you don't have to, but I will do so. Let's go to the release version. And let's get our release target. Let's grab that. Close this. Um, let's come here within. It's very straightforward. Drag drop. It ain't a big deal. Double check the documentation. It's pretty much straightforward. You drag it, you drop it that's it you got to do nothing else and then for the main for the main uh dependency which is we do need oxlib could have sworn it was in here for here it is yeah oxlib and oxmysql which we already have that so oxlib download the release version always go for the release oxlib Grab that, and as always, I mean, we're just gonna put it here to make things, you know, a bit simpler. Close that. Now head back to our inventory. Now within our inventory, uh, import. So this is the start order for our uh. OX inventory and basically all the OX resources that we'll need. Now, if you were to come back here, let's go to our, uh, let's head to our CFG, open our CFG real quick, maximize you, scroll down a bit. So on the QB core, I know it says, it pretty much says, uh, hold on, let's, let's, Let's get these two. I normally don't start these, uh, my, oh, my 
what's it oh mysql before the framework or the, the lib uh i do start it before the lib yeah that's that's what i do but i normally i will start these after the after the core but well, we'll not be doing that let's just work with the let's just work with the uh the documentation shall we i'm gonna put ensure in here just because and sure done all right next stop is our so we do have target and we do have our inventory so let's put our target on our inventory let's copy it as how we see there after the core so we put that after the core let's put this as ensure it's the same thing as as start so it doesn't matter i just wanted to say ensure no we're gonna type right here and pay attention i will i will think this out this will probably be in my discord somewhere on how to install this but you can just follow along just take it down so we're gonna type e x e c then we're gonna say at o x uh inventory forward config so it's forward slash um config dot the fg so exec so you we're basically telling it to execute a file that is within ox inventory resources which is config config dot config dot cfg my bad now uh what is this you may ask let's go back to our resources here real quick Let's head back to resources. I said to OX, OX inventory. And we're going to create a file, a new file. So we're going to text document and we're going to control A. We're going to say config so dot CFG. And done. Simple as that. Now, here comes the, the part where some people have issues. Wait, let's open this up. Uh, this is one of the parts that people will have issues with. So let's scroll down. Well, here we see our config. What we want to do, this doesn't have a copy thing right here. That's crazy. Let's just copy everything here. Copy. Head back. And we're going to paste it right here. Simple as that. Then we're going to change this from ESX to QB Core. All right, QB, my bad. So in here, this is where you basically configure the inventory, the OX inventory. So if you want, if you want to increase the player slot, you can increase the player slot you know, from 50 to whatever the weight. You know, in terms of how much weight you can carry, it's currently at 30,000. You can increase that. If you have OX target, you will enable this. Seeing that we do, we're gonna set this to true uh jobs with access to armory evidence lockers so on so you have police sheriff so on. you can add more jobs here uh set image path so this is the image part uh, the image path sorry that is uh is required to for you know if you have a shop script or so on and so forth are are the shops that the inventory provide to find the images of items of the items that is in your server basically Weapons will reload after reaching zero ammo. So if you want your weapons to automatically reload, you set this to true. It's currently on false. I personally keep it on false. You know, add the, it adds that immersion. Uh, blur the screen while accessing inventory. You know, this is if you want to have a blurred ba a background while you're in the inventory, so on and so forth. Uh, default hotkeys to access the primary, uh, primary and secondary inventory. So this is like the hot bar. So primary, secondary, normally you have F2, K, tab. You can remove these. You can leave them as how they are. It's up to you. Uh, this is to enable action when in, in inventory is, is open. This is the enable key, which is if you know the key numbers on your keyboard, you'll set it. It's currently at 249. If you want to change that, that's up to you. Weapon must be aimed before shooting. So meaning this is if you pull your, if you unholster your weapon 
and it's pointing at the ground and you were to hit your trigger you know button for your weapons to be for your weapon to be discharged it won't this you won't be discharged you won't fire a bullet until you raise the weapon and aim the weapon then and only then you'll be able to shoot normally i will have this on true personal preference you know uh but it's up to you guys how you want to do that show list of all nearby players when giving item this is i never i, I did i don't think i've ever changed this but yeah it's up to you guys if you want to do that i think it adds more it it makes giving items uh easier but with that said when you're giving a item to someone in game you must be facing that person if you're not facing that person so if this is on falls i'm assuming you will have to be facing the person or else you won't be able to give the item so the person has to be facing you and you have to be facing that person that's how you pass items between players without dropping them on the ground uh show a list of all nearby players when giving items oh yeah i just read that <laughs> toggle weapon draw a holster so it will basically if you're a cop it will pull from the you will, it will unholster your weapon from the right side yes and if you you're not a cop you'll put it from the back you know gangster or thug or however you want to look at it uh so that's currently untrue if you want to disable that that's up to you toggle item notification uh set inventory item notify true uh, that's when you give on that's when you add or remove item it will tell you what item is being removed or being added to your inventory so this is now disable drop markers and spawn prop props instead instead of that floating text that you that floating icon that you used to see it will no longer do that when you put stuff on the ground instead it will place a bag or any prop you decide to change you you decide to use as your drop model so that's basically what it does no more you know floating blimps or anything like that if you want a bag on the ground you want one of those duffel bags you get the duffel bag prop and you put it right here and save it and then you're all good uh this time the player if an unexpected weapon is in use uh i did not use weapon items i mean pretty much self-explanatory uh ignore mismatch checks for a given weapon type weapon shovel weapon handcuff so ignore weapon so these these would not be so for instance uh let's say it's a flashlight you would not say a flashlight is a weapon so it'll be ignored as a weapon it's just be it will be a utility and you know if you hit someone with it then you hit someone with it that's basically what it's saying uh, suppress weapon and ammo pickups this is basically saying you can't drop weapons so like if you kill someone if you were to kill or shoot someone the weapon then will be dropped and you'll be able to pick it up so if you set this to zero then you'll enable it but it's at one meaning it's on okay uh moving on this is the server side version check uh stash will, stash will be wiped after wipe after remaining unchanged for for the given time so basically if you're if you stash you know the items in your stash are you haven't you know there's no activity within your inventory stash and so on it will wipe your stash after the given time which is six months discard uh webhook url used for image metadata content moderation image empty so it's basically a webhook uh, login via oxlib so it basically logs your inventory it basically logs your inventory if you want that to be a thing you enable it if not yeah uh, item price fluctuates in shops i don't use the shops that is that comes with the inventory so i don't pay attention to these um yeah i don't i don't use the shops but it's up to you guys if you want to do so uh what is this uh loot will randomly generate inside and own vehicles and dumpsters if you want you know random loot you can enable that here minimum job grade to remove the items from evidence locker self-explanatory uh trim white spaces from vehicle plates so there's, there there'll be no more space between you know plate numbers or letters or whatnot 
And this here is for, so this is like the inventory loot that I've mentioned earlier. If you want random loot, you can set them to either want water, code, whatever you want. This is how you set it. Okay, and then set item to sync with framework account. So meaning money is an item within uh, OX inventory. So if you want money as an item, this is one of the best ways to do it without, you know, having any problems later on down the line. Okay, now save. That's a config. We went over the config. Let's continue on with the installation. I I wasn't planning on spending so much time so much time on that part, but it's all right. All right. So that's all good and set up. We ain't got to worry about anything else. The if you are currently if you have a active server, if you have a active server, this is for if you have an active server. Let me copy this, please. I can't copy this thing. You hit you want to copy where it says you can convert player player and vehicle inventories with convert inventory QB. So because I have a well this is a new build, but if you have an active server, what you want to do is paste the convert uh command in your console, hit enter, you know, and it will do it. What that's after you restart. So once you install the, the, the inventory and you restart, you do that. But it can it does it automatically as well but if it doesn't you can do it that way it's not a problem so there it is it's done simple and easy one thing i forgot to remove is i forgot to remove qb target let's remove qb target real quick oh and one last thing so I mean, if you guys were following along and you and you asked the question, well, why haven't you changed the course, the function in the course? This is where people have major issues right here. Normally, if you're adding PS inventory or any other inventory, you'll change the exports where you can to the inventory that you're adding, the new inventory that you added. Within with with this case, it's not the same. We are going to change the entire function itself okay so i have a snippet already within my discord so you can always go here and then check it out but if you were to copy that snippet that i have here and head back to our here we go and pretty much paste hit save and you're done so it, it will make sure that it reads it checks the ox inventory instead of you know saying giving you errors because you will have errors if you don't if you don't do this you will get you will get errors and a lot of people don't tell you this when you when you're installing ox inventory but if you do it just like this you won't have any issues all right now let's have a restart of our server here real quick and then i'll see you guys once we're inside all right guys let's uh all right, y'all, let's have a look at our inventory real quick. So, open her up. As you can see, inventory, cash as an item, phone, ID cards. We didn't import the images, but that is fine. Let's put this on the ground. Notice it's not a floating blip. It's a, it's a prop, and you can always take it up. Once you're standing over it, hit tab or whatever your inventory key is. It does add shops around the city, which as I said, I don't personally use, but it is there. Oopsie, that gotta hurt. So let's enter our quit the shop. We open the shop with a target. You go shop items and it's that simple. OX inventory and you won't have any issues when when the if the core decides to check for an item if you're doing you know if you require a certain item to complete a certain task the people are normally getting errors where it's not reading the item it's not you know connecting to the you can't execute the command or the function because you don't have the it will tell you that you don't have qb inventory or ps inventory or whatever inventory that you have there installed 
So if you follow the instructions in the video, you won't have any issues. And uh, you guys, as you guys see, you know, it's pretty easy to in install uh, QB target. It's not a big deal. Just drag it, drop it, remove your current targeting system. And also, uh, let me do this actually. Let's show you guys how this works while we're here. Where is it? Server management? No. I'm lost to this sometimes. Admin option. Here we go. Let's go for a pistol. And let's do slash give. Uh, give. I, I should have done it this way. In order for you to give items. It's not the same. It's the same, but there's a bit more you have to put in. So if you go give items, um, item, sorry, ID one, item name. So we're going to say pistol underscore ammo. Let's do 15 and we say type. No, it's, is it? Wait, and then we'll put item at the end. I don't think it's, no, it's not that, uh, for, let me show you what it is before I forget. Just so you guys don't get confused. I think it's ammo dash nine. Let's try that. It's ammo dash nine. There you go. So the pistol ammos are different now. It's no longer uh it's no longer piece of ammo because it, you're using different items for this for this inventory. So if we unholster our weapon and then we hit R to reload. So each times three, twenty one. So these are clips, basically. And you can't so if the gun only holds twelve bullets, that's what you'll get from the clip. No, right now I'm clicking in order to shoot and it's not, it won't allow me to discharge the weapon. But if I aim, shoot, watch, notice it's at zero. I can't shoot. I'm clicking to shoot. I can't. In order for me to be able to do that, I have to reload my gun again manually. So if that's a thing that you want, and I'm out of bullets. Just when this is 15 or is it too much? Maybe the weight is off on this. Reload. So each of these, oh, it is 15. So each bullet, it's one bullet. So I have a, I'll probably show you guys how to make mags instead of like one bullet. You could just empty a box of ammo and turn it into a mag so you can just reload. So if you had, if, if you had like three mags, you know, that's like, let's say you have two mags, you know, that's 30, that's 30 bullets, but instead of this being two, this is instead of this being like, you know, 30 mags, let's grab one of these. Instead of this being like 30 mags, it's two singular bullet. So it's not 30 mags. I'll put a, I'll put a snippet of how that is done in the Discord. I should have mentioned that earlier, but yeah, I'll do that. You guys can find out how to make, you know, bullets into magazines and so on. But yeah, but that's it guys. With that said, End of the video. I'll see y'all in the next one.